Hey, this is Judge and Waits bringing you some live hardcore TDM. Man, I wanted to do something different, so I'm actually going to do a live map breakdown. I'm going to show you some spots on this map as best I can while I'm playing, but I'm also going to tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing to kind of get you in my head and just kind of explain how I approach this map. Of course, this is map uh, Octane. So right away, I like running over to the left. And if uh, Paco would get out of my way. All right, they cannot hear me. I can hear them. And unfortunately, you cannot hear them. But I thought it would be just a little too cluttered if you have to listen to everything. But I like coming over here. And I'm going to wait for somebody to come into the diner. If I spawn on the other side, I usually come into the diner and wait for somebody over here to actually come into the diner. So, But I'm waiting for them. And of course, nobody's going to come. Oh, there's somebody. All right, I almost shot Babs. So I'm waiting to see if there's another person. No. No. I'm going to pick up their weapon. I always do that to start off because I usually end up running out of ammo. But I want to be careful as I'm coming out here. I'm looking into the windows of the motel. I don't see anybody. Let's see if there's anybody back here. There's somebody. All right. So uh, I like to move around and kind of flank around and get into the enemy spawn. I'm going to throw that IED. Hopefully it'll pick me up a free kill over there. But my goal right now is to just hang up hang out on this left-hand side and just kind of get some kills and get my streaks going. There's somebody. All right, so it's very important as you're hanging out here, you want to have Amplify on. You also want to have Dead Silence on. And speaking of that, I hear somebody. All right, that's an easy kill. I tell you what, if you are not running Dead Silence and Amplify and you are the type of player that likes to move around, uh, you are not being very smart run those two perks that is a great piece of advice all right and there's somebody back there so i'm debating right now whether i want to go to the strip club and that probably doesn't sound very good for me uh but uh you know i think i'm gonna hang out over here check this spot all right see right there just having map knowledge and knowing where to look where people usually hang out that helped me get that kill and i'm just listening and I hear somebody again. Sounds like they're right below me. Yeah, there they are. Oh, another person. All right, so see, Amplify is just a crazy perk that is going to really help you get some kills. I'm looking right now for a place to call in my Trinity Rockets. Let's see, I've got a friendly spawning over here, so probably the spawns have flipped. There's another guy. I'm going to pull up my thing to see who is alive. There's three people dead right now, so I don't want to call in those rockets. As soon as they spawn, though, I'm going to call them in. There's a guy on the roof. And a guy back here and two guys inside the strip club. And I didn't get anybody. I think maybe my chopper stole one. It looks like Bab stole one. All right, so not good. But I've got my streaks going. Oh, and there I get shanked in the back. All right, so that's a little bit embarrassing. Where in the heck was that guy? All right, well, since I died, let me show you something on this map. I'm going to try to go breach this center container. Now, if you play hardcore... You don't get a notification right there, but if you play core, if you come up to that, it says press X to hold and breach. So if you do that, there is, <clears throat> excuse me, there is always a support kill streak to start off in there. All right, so that's one interactive part of the map. <clears throat> I think they should actually give you like an assault streak. That'd probably make it more fun to get and more challenging to get because more people would be going for that. But uh, this is a great jump spot to get up onto this roof. Now, you can pretty much jump on any semi or the bus, but definitely, oh shoot, and there's where talking probably got me killed. I approached that very poorly. Um, but I would not recommend going up on these semis and the bus just because you're out in the open middle and it's just not smart, you're gonna get picked off. But that jump spot is really good. The one back by the blown out window in the strip club, that is another good one to jump up on that Hummer and jump up in there, especially if they're holding that area. All right, but there's another example of me just knowing where people normally hang out and knowing where to look for them to get killed. Now, there is a breach spot directly above me. If you are on top of the roof, if you just go up to that area, you hold X, you can breach that part of the wall. Of course, the part above the pawn shop, the A, that is another spot. And looks like somebody already blew that out. And that guy I actually heard as well all the way over there. Amplify is just a crazy perk. All right, so somebody laid out some vests. I'd like to get to them, but all right. I'm checking that window. Sure enough, there's somebody. Remember when you're shooting people at long distances? Did I get that person? Yeah. Uh, when you're shooting people at long distances, burst fire. You do not want to just lay down on the trigger. 
All right, let me head over here. I was going to tell you something I can't remember now. Uh, there's an ammo box. I'm going to shoot that. It's crazy what you get points for as far as your kill streaks. I mean, you kill an ammo box, destroy that, or a um, whatever the UAV thing is called. I'm having a brain fart. You know, you take one of those out, it counts towards your score streak, and then somebody must have killed me while I called it in. All right, so there's an example of what not to do. Be careful where you call in those Trinity rockets, because I probably would have had my Battlehind second one if I would have done that in a smarter location. All right. Oh, what I was going to tell you about the breach points, that center container right there and the ones up above. You can also use grenades or explosives. And, oh, there's a fail. But uh, you can also do that and get those blown away. You don't have to actually go up to them and press X. I always like throwing an IED up on the roof because people love to go up on those roofs. I guarantee you that's going to get me a kill. All right. Sounds like I hear somebody. Yep, sure enough. Oh, man. Friend the ground, there it is. Uh, Babs calling in one of those things that destroys everything. Ground jammers. All right. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, shoot. All right. You have to be very careful if you're going into the enemy spawn. You have to check your corners and look better than I did just there. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, you can actually jump up on the container straight ahead of me and jump up into there. But I would not recommend that. You can also jump up on this semi, the other semi across the way, and use those. But... Really, every time I do that, I usually end up getting killed. So I'm going to go back to this area. I uh, see somebody in here. I'm just going to throw an IED in there because I want to get up on this roof. And I see somebody throwing an IED out. Yep, sure enough, there's one. There's two. All right. Oh, looks like some more people up here. <clears throat> oh, missed that guy. Come on back. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow, four of these guys. All right, so see, this is a... Ah, shoot. This is a great jump spot. Unfortunately, though, it can get you killed. All right, so I'm going to head through here. This game is going to be winding down. Um, <clears throat> looks like I've got four kills left. Hopefully, this helps you out, though. Oh, definitely use armor piercing. I got that guy. shot him through there. Oh, there's another guy. Armor piercing is just a great attachment to put on a gun. I just got two kills shooting through things. It's crazy. See if I can get the final kill. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, fail. Let's see how I did. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going out. 35, not too bad. Oh, and check this guy wall banging with the Oracle up. I tell you what, that is a strong support streak. I love that. But uh, hopefully you like this. Let me know if you want to see me doing this on different maps. I know I kind of played a little bit different probably than I normally would. But uh, hopefully you get an idea of how I play it and maybe you pick up some tips. But let me know what maps you'd like to see uh, and if you want to see more. As always, though, take care and God bless. Hey, if you liked that video, make sure you check out these other two videos. I've got my first impressions of Call of Duty Ghosts on the Xbox One. And I've got another live gameplay where I show you a hardcore is like a kick in the groin. So check out those videos and let me know what you think. As always, though, take care and God bless.